Hi, today, educators. Um, we are going to go over lessons one through five and kind of the best ways we think to teach those HTML lessons. Uh, my name is Livio Bolson. I am one of the co founders of CodeMoji. Um, and I really hope you enjoy and really benefit from what we have created here uh, to help more kids learn to code real HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So basically, to get started, um, you've had all the students sign in, join the class, um, and you're ready to teach a little bit. So basically, what you can do is go to your dashboard, um, go to the class, um, make sure you've assigned the lessons that you're going to teach uh, to track the progress. Um, and then after that, uh, we can just kind of jump into the first lesson here. So we're going to go over lessons one through five um, of the HTML course. Um, so basically, the first uh, lesson here is the a, is the HTML tag opening and closing. So basically, just drag that over. Boom. We have just added the HTML tag. So, and you can see the HTML tags behind the code. Um, really show the students that they should play around with the behind the code button. Um, show tags. Uh, it shows the code. Um, over here, you can see a live display of what's going on, um, and then you can run the code, and you can see if you get it correct. If you get it correct, it'll display this box and show the code corrected correctly. So then we're going to the HTML lesson two is the head tag. Um, and you can really explain it to the students as um, the head of the document is that little tab um, in the browser, um, and that's when you type inside the title, um, that's what will show up in that little tab. Um, so that's an easy way to think about it, um, and re really the best way. Um, so if we just drop that in there, the head, then the turtle, and let's say we're going to get it wrong. So the correct answer is another panda head here. But if we get it wrong, it'll show them the correct answer, which will help them kind of understand what's going on and, and move forward in the course. So now we got it right. Um, and we really thought about the different... Um, emojis really clearly and, and easy ways to understand them and and how the students could really bring in what they already know about the emojis is really easy. So head tag, panda head, turtle, T, title tag. Um, so this is the awesome title. Um, and then we can see again the code behind there, the head tag, the title tag, the head closing tag. And if we run it real quick, um, so this is what we use as our title tags. So basically the next uh, lesson is lesson three, which is the body tags. Um, and really when we were thinking about this, uh, we wanted to figure out an emoji that was really easy to understand because all of the information goes inside the body. So we really thought about the hamburger, uh, the opening and the closing of the hamburger, all the meat, all the lettuce, everything goes in between uh, the hamburger. Um, so all the meat and potatoes, everything. Uh, so this works pretty simply. And once you type right in there, again, we can see the opening and the closing of the body tag. Uh, let stand for that. And then we run that, and it shows up right there. So that is the first couple lessons. Uh, the next lesson we have here is the header tag. Um, and this stands for an ice cream cone, um, and this is acting as an H1, which is the largest um, header, um, and then H6 is one of the smaller ones. Um, you can explain to the students as uh, the more ice cream that's scooped in, the larger uh, the, the uh, letters are, and the less ice cream that's there, um, the lower value it is, and the smaller it is. So this is the largest uh, value and when we run this as you can see over here, it's a little bit larger um, Than the other text and then when you run it, it's a lot larger So that's that's another one um, And then this is the P tag which stands for paragraph tag um, And we use a paper paper P tag pretty easy to remember um, And this is the paragraph tag um, this text will be a little bit smaller uh, than the H1 tag we just covered um, you can see the opening and closing tag for the P, uh, P tag. Uh, over here, you can see a display of it. Um, again, if we run the code, it'll, it'll tell you that uh, if you're right or wrong. 
Um, and then over here, we, we can see the correct answer. Um, so that's the first five HTML lessons. And this will really help you get a better grasp and understanding if, if you're not very familiar with HTML. Um, and I hope the tips we gave you in this lesson can really help you have the best class and best experience for your students possible. Always remember um, to manage the class, the assignments, and the lessons in the teacher dashboard. That is one of the most awesome features that we created. Really awesome, really easy to manage, um, and really understand how much more the students have to do um, and how much more we have to teach uh, to get the students to become the best students possible, really help change the world. Thank you. And in our next video, we're going to go over lessons six through 10. Um, and I hope you enjoy as always. Uh, always, you can contact us if you have any support or need more information about anything. Thank you again for using Code Emoji and Emoji out.